Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm making a video on Subnautica Below Zero because it's a really good game. And I, I'm probably going to do a few videos on this because it does take a while to get uh, good stuff in this game. But I think this is better than Normal Subnautica. I might also do a video on Normal Subnautica too. So I'm just going to start a new game in Survival. Because survival's the best mode. It's pretty much just normal mode. For Subnautica Blue Zero. Well, both Subnauticas. It's just like normal mode. It does take a while to load. Sometimes. This is the farthest I can take you on company space bugs. I think the You're sure you want um, intro or whatever for this one's better it too. And Sam, I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Unknown world entertainment. Approaching 45 46 feet. Surface temperature is at Drop pod deployed. And that's pretty much it. After this is pretty much the whole little intro to this game. Well, whatever you want to call it. You control then there's this whole field field filled with all this good stuff like water and nutrition blocks it's good to just find as much as you can before you leave this place I think that's about it though usually I get more than that oh there's no nutrition block. I think that's about it for this time and then, as you can see, you have like a heat bar. You want to use these. They're called thermal lilies. They heat you up, which is really good. Otherwise, you would just automatically just freeze to death in like 100 seconds when you come out of the water. Because in the water, you stay warm. So there's some place where you're warm. And right now, I just need a battery and one titanium for this scanner tool, which is the first thing you get in this game. Well, first thing you need to get. New creature discovered. It's a this one. I keep breaking limestone until you get oxygen, and you want to get. Two ribbon plant. I don't know why I'm making this like a tutorial. Well, whatever. So now I'm gonna get the scanner, and then we can go find some sea glide fragments. Found the drop pod. After we make water, because water is like the most important thing in this game, because you run out of it the fastest. Scanner. All right, I have a scanner. And then now you can get the sea glide, which the fragments for it are found like everywhere. They're really easy to find. And you can scan pretty much anything with the scanner. Should be able to use this. And I'm just gonna scan everything because why not? Why not scan everything? Doesn't look like there's. Let me see a guy. Oh, there's a guy fragment. See the 
they're like a little titanium cylinder kind of with a little glowing piece right in the middle that's what they look like and sometimes they're in sea monkey nests which you find in the creep vine biomes which is where I'm about to go as I will need to get some silicone rubber from the clusters so I can get the survival knife which is also a really good thing because it lets you um, chop stuff so we're just gonna keep getting a bunch of resources and stuff till we can also get the compass which we can use to find rocket island which is where the big rocket is and that's also where you meet marguerite and they'll also, also get all um the, you get the multi <laughs> multi-purpose room there which is the second biggest room in this game because unlike normal subnautica they have a large room in this game i think it's called that and yeah it's huge but you don't get it very quickly so a place you want to need to go is well you really need to go to these sea monkey dens and you want to get a bunch of silver because silver is very important because a lot of things you have to have um, wiring kits I'm pretty sure it's called yeah it's called a wiring kit and it's two silver oxygen and you find silver in these little sea monkey dens from the andrelite outcrop i think it is and you can also sometimes find fragments in sea monkey nests which is cool I so you want glass because a lot of things have glass too. Well, it's called quartz when it's like that, but Oxygen. you make it into glass. And then now we can make a wine kit, which is still silver, which we will need pretty soon. And we almost died there because I almost ran out of oxygen. And I need to drink something. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Yeah, you better grab some tools and resources, or else you're not gonna survive. Oh, here's a grav trap fragment. If you don't know what grav traps are, they're they're very useful. The suck fish close to them, and it makes it really easy to get fish, which can be a source of food or water, because you can make bladder fish into water. Oxygen which is awesome so you don't have to do something else like go out and get like a bunch of salt deposits or something and then use that to make water you can just like grab a fat bladder fish and put it in the fabricator and it turns into water New yeah. you're gonna need a lot of these because you need a lot of silicone rubber. Oh, man, my inventory's full. And here is our last sea glide fragment right here. New blueprints synthesized. After this, I'm pretty sure the fur the standard O2 tank. I think it's just titanium and fiber mesh. And you get fiber mesh from chopping the um, creep vine up, you chop it with a knife and then it gives you creep vine samples and then you can turn that into fiber mesh, I'm pretty sure. Well, I'm sure that that is how you do it. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. All right. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. 
And then you want to make some of this silicone rubber, and then you want to make lubricant, which I'm pretty sure you need for the sea glide. I think you need it for the sea glide. Um, fin sure. Those will make it swim a little bit faster. And we need one more silicone rubber. And then one titanium. And then we can make a survival knife. So you got battery, copper wire, titanium. I have the lube, I think that I think that was there. Hold on. A lubricant? I need copper wire and a battery. Which I have enough to make both those, actually. I have just enough copper and ribbon plant to do that, which is amazing. And so now we already have the sea glide, which is awesome. The sea glide is a personal transportation device um, used for high speed free Now lighting. this, two titanium and fiber mesh outer. And then wiring kit, that's what I needed for. I knew I needed it. And then I need two titanium. Wiring kit. And then the compass is just copper wire. Alright. Need to get some fiber mesh and just some copper and then we'll be good to go. To get the compass which we can use to find Rocket Island. I think you just have to head um, south. Need one of those. I need one, two copper. I think. Not sure. It's like a 50 50 chance or something like that to get copper Oxygen. out of these, so it's not that rare. Which is nice. That way it's not so hard to get copper. Copper, titanium, um, please give me the copper, titanium, darn it, it's usually more common than this, I feel like, I feel like every other time I usually get copper, and right now, basically all I'm getting is darn titanium, it's kind of annoying, alright, and then now we have the compass and the standard O2 tank, which we can use to get to Rocket Island. Which is gonna be amazing. Also gonna need the builder tool. Which I think those are at Rocket Island. I think there's fragments for that at Rocket Island. You can also get golden stuff there. One, two, three. Hold on, let me fiber mesh. Oh, I need two samples. I thought I just needed one, but I need two. That's alright, though. It doesn't... It, this is the usual spawn. One time I spawned, like, way over there somewhere. But the usual spawn is a pretty good spawn because it's, it's close to a creep on forest. Which you use a lot. Also, we'll be able to get shrub nuts, which we can grow inside our base. And then we have the fiber mesh. And then we can already get the standard O2 tank, which is amazing. Now we have how many seconds? Oh, it's not loading. 72 south. I think we have to head this way to get to Rocket Island. There's also sea truck fragments around Rocket Island. And then I also know a place where you can get lots of 
mobile vehicle bay fragments. So we can start trying to make the sea truck. And I do know you need gold for it. If you see this, you know you're going in the right direction. This little diving cage. Pretty sure there's some stuff up on here. Like a few bags of stuff. Yeah, there's a mineral detector fragment. Pretty sure there's um, some lockers or whatever. There's a, there's a few things you can scan too, which is awesome. Yeah, right here, flare. I don't need that. Nutrient block. That's awesome. And that's pretty much everything on the DS. I can barely see up there. And you just want to keep on going until you see Rocket Island. Which is Delta Station Dock. When you get near it, um, a beacon, you'll, you'll see a beacon. And then that is Delta Station Dock. I think this is Rocket Island over here. Yep, that's Delta Station Dock right there, if you can see the lights. And right around here is where you get Ruby. There's one of the things where you have to go down in it and then go through like a little volcano kind of thing. And then in there is like Ruby and stuff. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Yeah, but this is like a place where you'll get a lot of stuff. So, beacon fragment. You can also st scan these light sticks. And then, vending machine, coffee vending machine. There's a lot of stuff on this island. Uh, trash can. Yeah, there's a lot of things to scan here. Disinfected water. Nice. New blueprint synthesized. I'm just gonna scan everything. Alright. This is a recorded message. Yep. That's Marguerite. Trespassing. If you know what's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Uh now you can try and find some shrub nuts which are around here. Somewhere. Snow. I thought that might have actually been something. Um, if you stay near the thermal lilies for too long, actually, you'll start to burn. I think. I'm not sure. Um, so you just want to find the Delta Station. I'm going to find... Some other stuff first, though. Yeah, here's a shrub nut. You only need to take one of these to get it back to your base to plant it and stuff. Delta Station Dock should be around here somewhere. Mm. I think this is where you meet Marguerite. Yep, right here. Stop Jumps down right in her prawn suit. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. And yeah. You meet Marguerite right here, and then you go up that little hill. And then, here's Delta Station Dog. The in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear yep, I'm now we have the Habitat Builder, which is awesome. 
And there's a bunch of stuff in here. Alright, the jukebox. This is also where you get the locker. Multi purpose room. Which takes actually a long time to scan. Large filter water first aid kit. Nutrient block. I'm gonna take that. Well, I'm gonna scan that. A map or you could take that. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics or Sam. Then you got the bar table. There is so much stuff on this island. And then here's also where you get the um modification station fragment. And then Get beds, which are useful and stuff. And then you can grab some of these posters. I'm just gonna take this one. Um, single wall shelf. New blueprint synthesized. Ooh, another PDA from a picture. Shaving kit. New blueprints. Never designs. even noticed that there. Never even thought that you could pick it up. I guess you can though. New um, so yeah. And then there's this right here. Forgot what this is. Scanner room. Yeah, that's really useful. New Scanner room's useful. Because it goes out and finds stuff for you and you don't have to go look for it. And especially if you're trying to find something annoying to find, like silver. Then you can find it really easily with the scanner room. Status report. And then... I've never actually done the rocket thing. at all. I don't know why I haven't. I usually don't even think about it. Looks like it's missing one of those. I need to warm up before I die. Oh no. This I'm this is gonna be close. I haven't gone in this one yet actually. Oh, there we go. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. And then we you need this. Sam to look at it. Management skin. You need that. Executive desk. Oh, also, here's where you get the plant pot, which is very useful. Um, New blueprint synthesized. And the aquarium, which is cool. I think the aquarium is pretty cool. New blueprint synthesized. Let me scan this. Oh, it's scanned. PDA. Basic plant pot. Observatory. New blueprint synthesized. Now I'm just gonna. I'm gonna see New what the. Synthesized. Um. The builder tool is. Wiring kit, computer chip, and battery. Computer chip. All right, you can get gold on this island and diamonds. I think you can get diamonds. Oh, also we unlocked that. Didn't even notice that. 
so forgot where you find the diamonds at. Thank you, go this way and out here. Um Oh wait, no. You go to Delta Station. Then you go over here and then down these stairs. I completely forgot how to get this stuff, but if you go on here. What? There's nothing. Oh yeah, there is actually. Right here. So you break these and you get golden stuff. Titanium. Yeah, this is like the easiest way to get gold early on. Instead of actually going searching for it. And also, these things warm you up. Which is awesome. Let me drop that snow. The snow in this game is useless. See, look. Look at all these chunks of this. Like, this is like an infinite source of it. And if you go far back enough in here, there's this thing. Which I don't know what it is. And then, back there, there's diamonds. But I don't know how to get to back there. And then this. Come out right here. And then there's this. Oh, my inventory's full. Alright. Um... Then you want to find your way back to Delta Station Dock. And you can go back to your drop pod. I think I'm about to end this video once I get back to the drop pod, though. I think it's getting about the time that the video should end. But before that, we need water. And I have water, which is good. Yeah, these things heat you up. They're nice. And then, now we just need to head back, all the way back. To the, um... I forgot my inventory's full of crap. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. And so, yeah, once I get back to the life pod, I think I'm just going to end the video because I think it's getting pretty long. And, yeah, so it's going to be a while. Um, like and comment if you want me to continue this or, like, if you want me to do a video on normal Subnautica or something, or like Roblox games you want to play, want, I mean want me to play, and so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, I don't know what to say, I'm just gonna get back to the life pod before I quit the game so I don't have to before like two days later when I'm gonna do another video on this or something and then like I'm all the way out here and have to swim for like two minutes might as well just do it now so yeah next video I'm probably gonna be starting a little base which will be awesome I'll have a lot more stores and stuff, and I'll be able to have shrub nuts, which is 
awesome. That would just be infinite food source. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. And hope you enjoyed. And, yeah, see you in my next video. If I...